Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bow video. Today is a short video to uh, un unpack or unbox uh, Galaxy Watch 6. And while I'm doing this, I would like quickly compare to Watch 4 that I had for the last two years. So first of all, I would like to thank you all for watching my channel. Some people subscribed, some people didn't. And I'm not asking to subscribe, but if you do so, thank you so much. Uh, other people asking how they can support my channel. So uh, I'm not paid by anyone. So if you really would like to support my channel, I'll put links down, down below. I buy all my stuff on Amazon. Uh, if you click on my link and you buy something, I'm getting small, um, I guess, uh, percentage of the sale. So that's how I run my channel. It's not professional, nothing. I'm just telling the truth and the whole truth. So I'm not one of those reviewers that getting paid by companies to glorify items and cannot say something that is not sitting well. I will say how it is. So, well, those things done and over with, let's unpack Galaxy Watch 6. So first of all, Am I excited? No, I'm not excited. So Galaxy Watch 6 and 4, almost identical watches. So the Watch 6 is, you know, slight iteration, iteration over Watch 5 and Watch 5, slight iteration over Watch 4. There's no revolution in any of those um, uh, models. And I guess the biggest thing was Watch 3 moving to Watch 4 when they uh, moved from Tizen operating system to uh, Wear OS Google system and put Samsung layer on top of it. To be honest, I think uh, if you don't think of a couple of um, features they introduced, like ECG in some countries and proper sleep um, measurement, uh, it was kind of downgrade because battery life went through um, degradation. Uh, and the battery size stayed the same, but uh, my watch three lasted four days watch four lasted maybe day maybe day and a half and still after having it for two years i charge it every day it is annoying right now you ask me why would you get watch six if you are um, not happy with watch four not that i'm unhappy i just don't understand why uh seemingly premium product doesn't have uh, better features now look at those two uh, it should be no secret that should you should not expect too much from watch 6 look even boxes are almost the same and we're talking products that had two years to um, do something better right so I think some measurements uh, improved there's some interface improved but uh, watch itself stayed almost the same so you asking me why did I get one First of all, I don't like uh, items outside the warranty. What that means? That means um, if my watch stopped working today, uh, I need to buy a new watch that I need and that's quite expensive. The reason why I bought Watch 6 is because I pre-ordered and as part of pre-order, Samsung offered a uh, buy back um, watch for. I got some money for it, not much, but it is justified risk that otherwise I would pay for a new watch. Also because it was pre-ordered, it was a discounted price. So I'm not here to discuss pricing, I'm just saying the purpose of the, of the, of the purchase wasn't because Watch 4 much worse than Watch 6 and much, Watch 6 much better. The purpose of that was just to safeguard myself for another two years. Two years is a warranty term in Australia, so if anything happens to my watch next two years, I'm covered. That's a good peace of mind. So <clears throat> now let's unbox it and I'll compare parts that I found inside with watch 4. And again, I don't expect any much different. Um, now, before we do so, uh, when you accept your item, as you can see, I already open and use watch 4 and it say if seal is broken, do not accept that item. That is sealed by Samsung. If you got anyone that resells it to you and it's broken, look, it's up to you, but it doesn't cost as much as it should if it's sealed. So um, make sure that box is sealed. My box slightly damaged on delivery, but I felt it a little bit and watch itself somewhere in the middle. That's a top bit, which is, should be all right because I think it's a void uh, space there. 
So let's cut it and see what is inside. I actually expect it to be almost identical, if not uh, very identical to watch for. Call me skeptic, I just uh, don't believe something something did best job here. I think they get, could catch up with um, other brands. Now, uh, what's inside? Inside, I've got the watch itself, right? That's a one part of the box, and as you can see, it's not damaged, so I'm not gonna kick any fuss. And there's another flat uh, packet here, which I believe would be charger and um, manuals. So let's see what's inside. It is charger. I'll be quick trying to unpack it. Just mind you, I did not prep for this video. Um, I'm shooting as it comes. So this is the charger. Is it different from Watch 4? Uh, to be honest, a look slightly smaller, but looks the same. They say it's much faster charging, but to be honest, let me bring it close to the camera. They look, that's Watch 4, that Watch 6. Look similar, same to me. Now, what is inside the packet? Uh, nothing not even instructions i cannot see any instructions i can see just charger and that is it so charger it is now quickly to compare watches you can you can see that even both watches are 44 millimeters right the watch 6 looks bigger and i think this is bigger sale for something right now they in the same form factor packed more of the screen and because they put bigger battery, it's supposed to be lasting the same on a bigger screen. And screen supposed to be better too. So after I use it for a couple of weeks to a month, I will uh, post a consumer review and I'll be brutally honest. At the moment, I'm trying to compare those because I trade in my watch for, I need to send it away. So that's my comparison one to one and uh, watch six looks bigger. So nothing to be happy or unhappy about, it's just quick unboxing. Um, to recap, boxes are the same, charges almost um, identical, and watch Galaxy Watch 6 is slightly bigger. Do you expect it to work better? Yes, there are a couple of more sensors they uh, introduced, there are better functions from a software perspective, but that's in my next review. Thank you so much for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia, until next time.